And welcome back, this is Butler Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the North, up against Dragon B, um, the second dragon I assume, uh, the Blue Protoss in the East. Um, I always need to practice my little joke about the guy's name before I do it, otherwise there's an awkward pause after I make the joke. Pylon going down for Dragon B. I don't know if that's supposed to be a reference to Dragon Ball Z. I, you know, I don't know. Uh, maybe he just feels he's the second dragon. And look at that! First move again. And I'll mention it again. I don't think that is the best luck for him. Um, to have scouted my base on the first try. Because he, what, what has he seen? He's seen that I got a supply depot and a barracks, and then he left. If he if he came back now, he would see that there's a refinery, so he could assume that I wasn't rushing. Not that I not that that's ever a danger when you fight me anyways. And here I go the second one, because he got there so fast, I knew it was one of the ones on the side, and when it wasn't the one on the left, I thought figured it was the one on the right, so I guessed right. Uh, walking around, making sure, seeing what's going on. He's not chrono boosting that zealot out first, uh, and I saw that he's getting a cybernetics core. So I thought that he would be vulnerable to an early attack. Uh, not a rush, a push, so to speak. And he, he actually follows me all the way back to my base. And he's able to see, now he's able to get some valuable scouting done. Here I let him go through my mineral lines because it has failed me so many times in the past to try to take him out when he actually goes through that. I just forget it. Second and third barracks going up for me. Uh, tech lab on the second one. Let's look at that production tab. I need to change the tabs more often. That guy was right. Um, sorry, I already forgot your name. Should have looked that up before I went up here, but I did read your comment. I read all the comments. Not that there's very many of them. Send me a private message. Send me... I don't know if you guys have my email, but if you want to send me an email, that's fine. Um, I probably check my private messages more often. Uh, put a comment on my video. Put a comment on my channel page. I will read them. I may not respond to it because, you know, not everything does... I'm not going to say deserves a response, but not everything needs a response. Um, especially li like this one, I'm responding to it in the video. Uh, look at this lock going down for him. Two robotics base, two gateways, Forge is up, getting ground weapons level one. Uh, he is expecting a rush uh, because he knows that I saw that cybernetics core coming out early and an immortal being chrono boosted out. Another immortal coming out of the other robotics bay, not being chrono boosted. He doesn't have enough energy. Uh, he's not getting any more probes, which I th find kind of strange. Um, yeah, there we go. So he just forgot. That happens to me a lot. And here, see, look, I went down here in case he had anything with sight up there. And here, I'm screwed. I should run these guys away right now, but I don't. I'm not that great on micro, except for right here. Watch this. This is my little practice micro. Oh, it was not bad. Come on, that was a little bit. That was a little bit of kiting. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar with that, it's it's pretty much stop, move, stop, move, stop, move. It, it's very it's very simple to do, but well to explain, and um, it's eh, oh easy-ish to do. Um, especially when you get a large army, you just keep them selected. Boom, 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 boom. You know, stop, move, stop, move, stop, move. And then it should work pretty well, especially with Marauders, because they have that... I, I did have the Concussive Shells upgrade. Um, but unfortunately, I was unable to get that much damage down. And here, I stim up. I did get the stim upgrade. Um, so this should not be a problem for me, even those Immortals all going down. He's left with just three Stalkers... Four warping in for backup, but he will not need them. I am not retaliating right now because these guys are all so weak. Uh, those two green guys actually just came out. So I am not going to be retaliating, <laughs> at least right now. I'm actually going for the expansion because I know he does not have one. And this is kind of weird. I've, I've seen this a few times from players, and I've never understood it. That gas actually going to be warped in. Look at that. And how much time is left on that? 
75 seconds left, well, game seconds, left on the Nexus, and the gas is already up. This, why? No, get the gas, get the, get the Nexus first. See, look, this just finished for me, and this is being morphed into a normal command, so it has been up for a while. And now you can see that I don't keep track of my SCVs very well, even when I'm warping in mules. There we go. Get on that gas. Looking at the resources tab. Um, wow, I am doing a much worse job of spending my money than he is. He's actually doing a fantastic job of that. Uh, he's getting the Protoss Ground Armor Level 1 to go along with the up the Attack Upgrade 1. I was able to take out... Oh, no. I never went for that Proxy Pylon yet. That might be important later on in the game. But I'm expecting him to come back in with a push. So I have two siege tanks all sieged up, ready to go whenever he comes across. Uh, infantry ball just kind of hanging out there. He is sending his entire army to hang out at the Zelnaga Tower. And, oh, that that's another thing that I hate. Immortals, Colossus. Oh, they're so powerful. Uh, just one sentry, it looks like. Uh, yeah, just one sentry. How, how much do the force fields cost? They cost 50. Uh, so even if he had full health, or sorry, full energy, it would o he would only be able to produce four force fields. That's usually not enough. I did take out the destructible rocks here. I'm uh, going to go for a second expansion, um, my third base, because I'm oversaturated, well, here. Well, I wouldn't say that's oversaturated, but there's so many, there's so few minerals left that I just feel like it's okay to just walk away from it and leave like maybe one or two SCVs there. And here comes in an observer to get destroyed by a missile turret. Like I said, just like in the last game, missile turret here, primarily to defend against um, Dark Templars coming in so that I can see them when they go for the main army. But if it takes out an observer, it takes out an observer. Zealot running across, making sure I didn't get this expansion here. I did not. That's a lot of pylons around the outside. But here I finally go for a push. And he knows it because I took out the pylon. Did that supply lock him? No, it did not. Uh, so looking at the units tab. Oh, I do have quite a larger army. One marine out in front to die and <laughs> he still ran away from medevacs and here we go stim up how is this going to work out it's pretty even um force field going down in a very awkward place it looks like he's going to be able to take this easily will the siege tanks be enough around the top there yes one colossus going down two colossus going down an immortal no the immortal lives Damn you, Immortal, and your seven kills. Ah, oh, Immortals. But I do have enough army still back at my base. Three mar uh, sorry, three Marines, two Marauders, that is all I have. But I am producing, look at all I'm producing. I am getting a hell of a lot. I'm even getting, this is something that I've been neglecting a lot. When you get the expansion, why not build production facilities there? Oh, concept, because I'm kind of low on room in the middle here. And he figures that I'm going for the expansion. Um, so he sends in four stalkers and four zealots. And they take out my SCV's building. I do have a banshee out. Uh, once again, not going to cloak it. Just putting it in the regular army. Because look, it didn't get any kills, but it did a lot of damage. Taking out that last zealot. He's got an observer in here. Eh, I don't really care. Oh, now it's leaves. <laughs> so even now, um, if I produced a Thor, which I, I, I'll spoil it right now, I never do produce that Thor, he would have been able to see it out of the factory, but no, he takes it out and lumps it with my army. He also take, takes out the destructible, de uh, destructible rocks. There are rocks on this map, not debris, here. Uh, so he is thinking about an expansion. He's not going for it now. He is oversaturated here. Look at that. He's got 24, 26 there, completely mined out of his main base, as am I. But I just have one SCV there because I transferred a long time ago. Looking at the income tab, I still have the lead in everything. 
let's face it, every time. In the army tab, also have the lead. Spending tab, have the lead in everything but technology. Just a little itty bitty technology. How much have I destroyed? He, wow, yeah, it's, it's more even than I thought. But I did lose a couple armies going a little bit all in. So, it's only about 2,200 minerals difference. And here I go in, and because he went from my gold expansion, I assume that he has a gold expansion. That's, that's, that's as far as that thought process went. I went, no. Expansion. Take that out. So I do see it, and here comes the army around the outside, and a Psy Storm in a bad spot. Look at that. It was only able to take out like three guys that were staying in the way. There's a couple good ones, so I move in, and looks like most of the damage had already been done, though. That Viking, yes, I have Vikings, and those Marauders should be enough to take out everything there, and it is. Uh, the siege tank was sieged up in the back. Most of those did die, so I took a huge lead in the army. Ta oh, look at that. He's got, he's got nothing. What's he got? Three stalkers and four zealots, and there they are, and down they go. These banshees paying dividends. Four, two, four kills. I don't care what you guys say. Banshees are not a pure harassing class. And look, he, he even focused them down too because he knew that they were the only units that he could not attack with the zealots that were doing damage. So he took him out. Siege tank, chilling out. He's a corporal. He doesn't need to fight anymore. And here I send in what I've been producing this entire time. And that should be the game. It is really only a matter of time here. Units lost. Oh, 17,000 minerals and gas worth of units. Gone. Well, and buildings. And, oh, taking pot shots at the probes because why not? He is down to update you. Update. What is he down to? 15. There we go. Uh, he did warp in an Archon. Interesting. That was kind of his last line of defense. And when that went down, it was game over. Uh, too many tanks, really. Uh, this would have just been decimated in about two or three minutes. Um... Yeah, that's me, okay. I was about to say, wow, he's got a lot of minerals and gas unspent, but no, that's me. He's got pretty much nothing left. Um, so there we go. Uh, my favorite part of this match, I hope it was yours too, I denied that expansion. Denied. You cannot have it. And I still have six men of Exxon number one because they were the only survivors. But yes, Banshees, uh, Siege Tanks, look at that Siege Tank, seven kills, he is a corporal. Two, eh, nothing here. You guys are all still recruits, because I don't really care if you guys die. And look at that second up level upgrade, because I did get that armory. I never really did use that for anything other than the upgrades on infantry. I even got the second engineering bay. Never even bothered, because the game was over by the time that came across. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. It was a little bit of a long one. This will probably be a two-parter. Uh, yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Bye.